Hello and welcome. This is a Leica Creos motorhome. This will cost 177 and a half thousand euros. It is 789 centimeters long, 230 wide, 299 in height. It's got a German layout in the back, 195 centimeter long beds, 80 centimeter in width. And it can have the option of a bed in the roof which is uh, 190 by 140. Uh, okay, we, we have a list of the extra special equipment and the most expensive of which is the Super Chassis Creos Packet. And uh, what's in that, don't know off the top of my head. Sorry, that's number one of this. Say the most expensive of this is the Summer Packet plus Creos. I'd rather have a Winter Packet than the Summer Packet. Uh, anyway, that's just me, never mind more information in the description and potentially what's in those packets now it did say you can have a bed a drop down bed but this one hasn't got one uh, this vehicle is on a fiat basis it's got a double floor i'm a big believer in double floors and it's got its german layout in the back and as I walk to the back via these rather clever stairs I rather feel that this vehicle looks it looks a bit like looks a bit like a torpedo it looks sort of long and narrow uh, that's the impression I get in it I mean there's nothing particularly unusual about its length or its uh, width but that is the way it appears to me to be a corridor on wheels it might not come out in the video somebody today wrote and said why can't you get a wider angle on your camera so well the angle is already 119 degrees and uh, which is pretty wide and there's already distortion and uh, the distortion uh, at the end may sort of make the vehicle appear a little different right let's come into the back here and we'll have a look at some of these uh, these uh, how do you call them uh, closets, there's a good word. Shall I use that as a word? I don't know. I've been looking for the right word for this for ages. I don't like the word locker. Notice that it's flat. I like a flat floor, but I don't like one of these being flat. I like ledge because when you open this, things fall out. I mean, it's falling on the bed so it won't get broken. It's probably clothes in there anyway. But I do like, personally, I don't like everything falling out on top of me. There we've got a telco television, sort of a nice little holder for it. And uh, that looks quite cute and here on the other side we've got the uh, um, more of the same uh, closets uh, lockers uh, storage our oh, storage is a good word and this opens like this now I just want to say something about the catcher because this is quite unusual you've got a little there we go got a little thing in here there's my hand right right so you press this thing here and you see this thing here is moving right so I press that and you can see the the the, uh, the hinges which actually hold it in place Oh, and I think that's quite clever. Uh, this one is actually manufactured by a friend of mine, so I'm biased. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just saying uh, so that's how I, I, I knew all about it. Up here, we've got a skylight. And uh, now, one thing we can do with the door is we can close it. And that's always a good thing you can do with doors. And mm, this comes down there. Push that down there, and this should come across. Oh, it does. That was me thinking it was broken. And uh, there we go. Now, what do you think of that? I think it looks a bit like a lift, to be honest. Uh, so, <laughs> pretend you're in the lift when you're in here. Um, it seems quite practical, actually. I'd have to say that, even if, it, even if I don't think much of the styling of it. Mm. Never mind. These beds are both the same size. Uh, but sometimes they're not the same size. The reason they're not the same size is that when there's a little bit extra space to make for the bed, it's always a good thing. People are getting taller and taller, particularly here in Germany. And uh, so longer beds are required. And I do sympathise. I have a number of viewers say, look, I'm nearly two metres tall. I can't find a van. What one do I buy? I really do sympathise with that problem. These beds are 195 centimetres. So I'm afraid if you're two metres then this is not the van for you. There's not many vehicles that you can go, can take person of that height. Uh, although the Heimer brand, not Heimer Group, this is Heimer Group. Heimer brand has vehicles which can actually do that. Anyway, the steps go up like this. 
which to my way is quite, that's a quite a good solution. This allows this to open, I think. And there you go. Well, that was difficult, but isn't this nice, you see? I mean, it's hard to open, but once you've got it open, I think that's pretty good. This tray here will come out, and you can use this either with the tray for clothing or for, uh, uh, I don't know, something you could hang things up through these uh, holes in there. That, I like that. That first company started doing this, another Heimer company called Niesman Bischoff, and but now it's been copied by a number. Of, and I think that, and you see it without the tray in, that, and it's pretty, it's pretty stiff, although I suppose it wouldn't be after a while. I think that's pretty good. I'm wondering what's down here though, whilst, whilst I'm here. Tank. All right, so now, I'll show you this, we've got here, this pull out thing, and, oh, yeah, I'll have to show you that from up here. It's got the Leica logo in there. You think, what's that for? Well, you should keep bottles and things there. That'd be pretty handy, even if you, your wine store, you know, or your, your collection of uh, beer, and you wouldn't have to get out of bed very far to get your hands on them. Here we have the uh, the shower, which also is really oh, isn't that nice? That is, well, I like that. Can I lift this up without anything happening? Oh, I need two hands. No, I don't even want to. Sorry, I don't want to try holding the camera. Uh, it looks like good. I just don't want to risk doing any damage to it. And here on this side, toilet. the toilet actually turns round, it doesn't have to be in that, uh, sort of turn on like this a bit. And, uh, but it, it's enormous this toilet. And now the door has closed itself here. And if I close myself in there, we've got all of this space here. Not quite a dressing room, because I don't really think you're gonna, uh, using that as a, uh, for keeping clothing in. But all the same, this is really, Smart. So, uh, enormous kitchen, absolutely outstanding. Three burners, spaced apart. There's huge amount of space there. Molded sink uh, with a central drainage and proper domestic plug. Over here, we've got, I suppose that's for a drying uh, food or whatever. Oh, that is, oh, that really is a nice kitchen. Below, we've got this, down here, this Bosch dishwasher. Storage below. To the end there. And here, with cup. This will come out as well, I think. Whoa. Well, I should do. Oh no, because we've got the sink below it, sorry. <laughs> That's a shelf. And here we've got this pull-out uh, pantry sort of thing. On the other side, there's the fridge and the oven, if I can call that an oven, I was at a grill. And there's the freezer, somebody's just locked me inside. Let's hope they haven't closed the door and there's storage below. And whilst I'm here, double floor. How deep is it? Oh, there you go, that's how deep it is. I don't think you can see that very clearly, but it's about 30 centimeters, something like that. Great for storage, great for the vehicle, uh, double floor. Look at the indirect lighting as well. Now, it does come with the option of a double bed. This one hasn't got that option. Pretty good, uh, in my opinion. I find the extra beds just a, a nuisance. Fiat, um, automatic in this case. You can get it on the manual. This is the Fiat 8, which was introduced uh, for the, it was introduced in 2021. Although it's still, two years later, still hasn't been uh, brought out. In fact, it's now a Fiat 9 uh, coming out, which is not as good as the Fiat 8. Uh, sorry, the Fiat Ducato 8, Fiat Ducato 8, Ducato 9. 
Uh, right, did I show you that? I don't think I did. We'll have a quick look at this. Right, so, um, give me your opinions. What do you think? I mean, uh, I like the double floor. Um, this vehicle, even though I had the money, if I had, if I had, if I had 180,000, I'd probably buy it car I go. But um, uh, it does have some really nice features in it. In fact, I can't actually criticise it too on anything. It, it's, it's really, it, it, it really is very, it's very good. Uh, I mean, things go, you better bear in mind, horses, of course, as everybody gets what they want, or some of us don't get what we want because we haven't got enough money for it. But, uh, oh, I've been locked in. I have been locked in. Oh, no, I haven't been locked in. Oh, door, window in the door. I think that's a positive feature. Yeah, well, you can, oh, I'll close the door behind me because I found it, it was closed. Found it closed, so it's got to stay closed. Look at the amount of space in here. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant garage. Take 250 kilos in weight. That, oh, that really is good. Um, things I don't like doing videos, which are, oh, everything I say is good, but if I can't find anything negative to say, uh, I very much strongly believe I've got to, my, my role is not to be as an advertising medium for the manufacturer. My role is to say what it is and uh, how it is. So, uh, this is an interesting vehicle as well, integrated one. You can see that in a different video. And so, there you go. Creos L5009, the most expensive uh, Leica vehicle at this event, I believe. And uh, there you have it. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you found it interesting. This is the largest site for, oh, sorry, largest collection of uh, camper vans and motorhomes and vacuum cleaners. No, and that was an exaggeration. It's not the largest site for vacuum cleaners on YouTube. Uh, just motorhomes and camper vans. So thanks for watching and all the best from me in uh, Stuttgart.